got now is I've put this Highland, this is a genuine board. And so I put this Highland uh, board up for the test. This is a um, digital DC load. And all we're gonna do is I've turned these on to full, to the right, that's full voltage. And this is full current. Uh, see the little light there, it comes on. And I've got uh, 20 degrees is the heat sink and 18.7 is the case of this uh, 24 volt regulator. Right, so let's power it on. And we'll see 31 volts on here. And now I'm just gonna try and get the maximum current out of it, okay? So here we go. Half an amp. Let me just see if I can move this somewhere better. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit annoying, isn't they, these? But we got a half an amp there. As we go up, one and a half amp. So we're dropping a little bit of voltage here now. It's just gaining it back a bit. That's 44 watts. And as we go up, let's say two. So we've dropped down a little bit of voltage, a little bit of voltage dropping off there. Let's get a bit closer to three. In actual fact, that's gonna be the highest that we can go up to. It doesn't let us go any higher than 2.8 amps like that. But we can, you know, draw up to four amps on this. But not in this, uh... If I just adjust this a bit. We've actually got our current limit on now. That's what's pulling the voltage down, but... Well, anyway, let's just put that back. So you can get to see there what you get to get out of that. That's me giving it full. Just, you know, take what you can, but it pulls the voltage down a little tiny bit. On the voltages there, there the, um, the temperatures there look rising up. That bottom one again is the heat. That's the voltage regulator, the 24 volts. And there's not even a fan on it. There's nothing on there. 26.8 is the top one. 26.9, that's still creeping up a little bit. So, as you can see, those voltage regulators get awfully warm. But you can see what that's doing there as well. Okay. So, I'm going to try the other one as well. Just because... Well, the other one, um, the other board, I wonder if there's a difference between, you know, the outputs there and the outputs there. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a try. I expect that might be quite warm. Just going to move these out of the way. Take these off. The um, the chips here. Oh, I'm just gonna pull these parts off. To start off with um, the chips here. Do a little bit warm, but not. I mean, that gets quite warm. So there's a capacitor a little bit, but that could be just sharing the heat off these. Um, diodes, not really. Well, no, the diodes are quite warm to the touch, actually. Not terribly warm, but. So let's. Uh... Uh, the transform use, transformer that I'm using here is 120 VA. So it's not as low, it's a uh, complete lightweight. It's higher, you know, than the, the 90 VA, which is sort of. Suggested if you want to get 90 watts out of it, but of course even in the manual it says you want to use a transformer of higher capacity, capabilities, because of the losses. Right guys, here's the other board. Let's just quickly put it together. Alright then. 
Okay, so we got this thing wired up. Now we're going to put our, uh, our number two in there. Sorry, because the way the wires are bending into these things, and then we've got this one here. Putting on number one. Oh, not that easy to put it onto this time because I've put a little heat sink here. Uh, oh, we might just have to probe that on by hand. <clears throat> Never mind, I'm going to turn that on. So I'm measuring that. Turn this back on. Okay, welcome, welcome. And now we're going to put our power. Oh, let's put some air. Let's put some of these in first. Okay. So we can twiddle the volume and twiddle, even though that these are pretty, these are automatically set to full. Even though I've got a funny thing that might mean the other thing round on this mod. It doesn't. <coughs> it's fine. Okay. I'm sorry about these stupid lights. Come on. I might go in there and tweak that and do something about it. I don't like it. Okay, right, let's just put the power down. Looks like everything's okay, let me just double check the rear. Boo, yep. Right, put that on. 31.2 volts, got a little bit more out of this one. The other one had 31.0, wasn't it? So let's uh, let's see what we can do then. All right, silly lights, I'm sorry. Let's put this around here so we can get rid of the silly light. We do that like that, it's a bit better. Yep. I mean, these are the genuine boards. Let's see if it sort of settles itself a bit, but we're already dropping a little bit. Let's just turn on full blast. 286 again. Around about the same sort of thing, isn't it? I can try and adjust this a bit. And But this is the coarse one up here, so I'm going to be dead gentle with it. And let me get three and a half amps out. Turn that down a little bit. It's close to three amps is what we can get. What it reckons is three amps, right? So we got 83, 76 to 83 watts there. But you can see what that's doing at three amps. All right, well, could it be my transformer? Could it this be this? Uh, is not big enough. Could it be that if we put 160 V on there, we might be able to keep the 31 volts or the 30 volts at three amps? Yeah, there's only one way to find out, isn't it? That's what we gotta do. Secure it all, make it safe and uh, and swap out that transformer there for something a bit more meaty. I got one, I can only go to 160 VA, that's an extra 40 VA. Uh, but that is still, that is still a bit more. Let's just double check that this is the 120. It certainly does look like the 120 to me, it looks exactly the, the one that would have been in the case. I'm just gonna pull that up again. Bones off. All right, let's have a look. Mm, didn't feel over warm or anything. All right, so you can see that's 120 VA. Look, so sort of there. Five amps, 12 volts at five amps. Yeah. Okay. How yeah, about this one then? This is 12 volts a side at uh, 6.7 amps, does that say? 160 VA. I'm just gonna... Yeah, I've never known actually what my channel is all about, but I realise what it is now. Somebody pointed out the other day, it's a vlog, isn't it? I'm just doing a vlog. This isn't any educational place or anything. This is somewhere you can come along and follow my little journey. Uh, but it's not really, uh, 
professional. I've never been very corporate, me. I don't really get on with the... Uh, I can't, you know, it's a very... Should I say superficial type of world? And, you know, that's your thing, that's your thing. Let me just... There, uh, right. Okie dokie. So let's get this put in here. Right, so we can see it like that. Alright, let me turn this on. Beep. Off we go. We've got a little welcoming thing there. And uh, just do all over the connections again before I slap the 240 volts down. Uh, we're gonna just go for a little bit of a, it's just good for me just in case I see anything running up too high. Uh, that won't do it again with the, if we have to, looks like it's gonna be doing okay. And besides, it's not a, yes, 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 sorry. Blimey. Uh, okay, right, let's get that slapped down. Of course, we're gonna be going straight into the full voltage on this. So it's gonna be a uh, full whack with what we get alrighty ho well so far so good things seem to look okay let's give it a go and it comes mm. well that's looking pretty good I think let's just get it up there shall we oh two and a half we still can't get it past 286. But it might look like we've got a slightly higher, have we? 79 to 83, 84 watts. So it does matter. It has got a higher voltage still at that ampage. Right, now we're going to push it for its 3 amps max. Let's we'll see what voltage we get. I'm really sorry about the way this light thing works on these. and I will do something about it, but let's just see if we can twiddle this a bit. And go for that 3 amp max. Oh, that's 3.5. Let's just bring that down a bit here. And what do we get on our 3 amp? Uh, that's probably about as close as I'm going to get it. So we're still getting between 83 and 86. I'll just push it a little tiny bit extra. And that'll do. 85, 86. At 28 points. Uh, so yeah, using a higher... VA transformer does work. I was using the 120 VA and I certainly could do with that 160 in there if I want to be drawing that amount of power um, from this little setup here. Anyway, if you found that interesting, you know, leave us a comment, thumbs up, whatever. But uh, I'll catch you in the next one.